Okay, so second part of this video, we build a template like this. We actually work with a company called InStock Template Co. that will build these also. They can build them at a half inch or three quarter. And then we use blue tape on it. You don't have to use blue tape. This one's been used on a couple different jobs. We have a nicer Linux hole saw because that's what we use because it's got a longer tip on it here. So it allows us to lock it in place and do a lot more spinning backwards. So on this one, we just spun that backwards a little bit. This one, we're going to spin it back, especially if it's on wood, four, five, six turns. Then we'll start turning it forward. And then what we do is we put this up here, pop this in. But I'm going to show you the magic to this right now and how we do that. So again, this is our old demo space. It's, a lot of this is getting torn out, if not all of it. But I'm still going to pull the tape measure out. I'm going to mark 12 inch hole. So I'm going to put this in the corner here, 12 inches off. So that's our mark there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave everything on this ceiling except for our little center hole. I'm going to tape it in blue tape. And I'll tell you what, a $10 roll of blue tape's a lot better than have to replace a teak or a cedar ceiling. And I've seen lots of contractors that have done that with hole saws, thinking they could just pop it right in. And that's not how you do it. So we're going to go basically three pieces of tape over this way. Then we're going to do a half piece of tape. Another half piece of tape. So what I'm doing there is I've kept my hole, my hole saw will drill and cut all that in no problem. Then what I do is I use some double back and I actually double back onto our blue tape here. And again, double back, all these materials are relatively cheap if you're doing professional installs. If you're a homeowner, you might wanna not wanna do this. It might cost more to start buying all these tools and just hire a pro, but Electricians are charging two, three hundred dollars an hour now, so maybe uh, maybe worth it to buy some of these tools and do some of this stuff yourself. So I haven't done my bag trick yet, and I'll show you why. And so grabbing a different drill, my other drill would easily turn it, but again, it was dusty and dirty from doing the first video on this. Now again, what I want to do is I've got a drop cloth down here, is so I want to find my area right here. And I'm just going to do a light hole into it. Remember, it's drywall. And if it was wood, it's that much little bit of dust. Okay, so what I've done is I've just barely, barely touched it. Just touched it a little. And I've got a center hole. Now, the reason I've done it that way is now I take my template. That fits in there just like that. Chuck coming done. Okay, so it fits in like that. Now what I can do is take my hole right here. I can pop that up there and I now have a perfect double backed wood template. So now what I can't do, if I'm drilling this, and this thing's on here, I can pull, I can't hang on it, but I can pull on this. If this thing were to walk across the ceiling, it would just destroy the ceiling, could cost thousands or tens of thousands of dollars in damage. So now I can come back up. Remember, I've already just done a little tiny mark to indicate my half oval and I've got a center mark. You probably don't even need this little half mark. And then keep in mind, I want to chop real tight because you're going to run this in reverse on the wood almost until you feel like the wood's kind of burning. Then you're going to spin around in the front. So again, I'm going to do the bag trick. And so like 50 of these bags are something like $10, $15 on Amazon. They're not as good as the ones we get, the yard waste bags we get from Home Depot, but those are about $25. So you'll see that they're a little hard to get apart. But again, to save $10 for 50, that's a lot of money. Again, we're gonna knock that out like that. And then again here, you're doing wood, so you, you kind of do need to see what you're doing. But again, you can just take this out, make a tent. So I always like to get my corner here. 
And again, I'm going to do the outside here. And I'm going to actually take the tripod this time and show you how good you can actually see through these clear bags. So again, tape's relatively cheap. Your, your goal is to get a full seal around it. And then you're still gonna have to sweep up and do some stuff on the bottom, but at least you're minimizing all the surface stuff floating around, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna pop this off and show you just how good. So there's our template, double backed on. There's our hole. You can just see how good you can see through that clear. Drop this back on, can't hold the camera and work. And then again, same procedure, just some sort of razor blade. Nice little cut in here. It's not the sharpest razor blade. And then I can't stress as much if you're doing this on wood, that's forward, run this sucker in backwards. So we're gonna run it in backwards on this. If it's wood against this drywall, it's not gonna make much of a difference. And then again, we're just gonna take and hold our bag around our wrist. We've already got our center hole because we have a full saw. It's got a longer center pin on it for the bit. It's a quarter inch bit. And then we're gonna run this in reverse. Then we're gonna stop it and run it forward. You probably even noticed on that, this is obviously a better drill. And so it came off just no problem. Went right through that drywall. That's when you pay a 30 or $40 for a four inch hole saw compared to 15. So again, same thing, bag, take that out to the van or somewhere you're not going to get dust everywhere. And so I'll grab the tripod again. Now you can see just a super nice clean hole, a little bit of dust on it. That thing hasn't moved an inch. Nice and solid. And now what I can do is since this is on tape, is I'll pull right here. Just pull that right off. Drop my dust on the ground. If I have some on a drop cloth. And so I have a nice super clean hole. So I have a nice super clean hole, just nothing at all in the way. It's just perfectly cut. Again, you saw you might have saw this one in the first part of this video, a little rougher cut. This is a little bit better hole saw, but nice, super clean hole. Template sit down here. That's all the dust we got from it. And then we just pull this back off. Just like that. We still have our template for another job down the road. So, and that's why I use the blue tape so it doesn't get stuck on our template. So, and you can see this template's got some drywall on it. I've used this on, I think, four jobs now. So, just a super cool six inch by six inch with a four inch hole in the middle and good to go. So, that's going to conclude this video. So a little uh, training or install stuff for doing sealing uh, four inch cans for electrical or lighting or maybe speakers or any devices you want to put four inch cameras, you name it. So this video helped you out. Subscribe, maybe do a couple thumbs up on it. Thanks a lot.